Hello, this is Rakesh Rao from Coordinate Systems. In this CAD Power video, I'm going to show you how you can remove extended entity data or X data from objects. Both AutoCAD and BricsCAD allow you to tag text information to objects in the form of X data. However, AutoCAD makes it very difficult for an ordinary user to figure out where the X data is attached and how to deal with it. The command that is used to list X data in AutoCAD is called XD list and you can select the entity, type the application name, in this case it's Suite Info and you can see that the extended entity data is shown on the command line. Now in one of my previous videos, I converted all the attributes of this block in data attached to these box as X data. Now let us say I want to remove it. That is the purpose of this video. So under cat power, under extended entity data, we have this option called remove X data. You can run it on the command line also by typing CP underscore rem underscore XD. You need to select the application name, which in this case is suite info. Then you need to select the objects which you want to process. So I'm going to say scan entire drawing. So it has found 59 objects and it is going to locate this suite info X data in these objects and remove it. So apply. So if you go to the command line, you can see that suite info application. So three entities were found and X data was removed from 30s. So again, I go to XD list and list my entity. To verify that the X data has been removed, I once again start my XD list command select this object and you can see that there is no X data attached to this object now. Give it to you in GeoTools and it works in exactly the same manner. However, in BricsCAD, it is easier for the user to figure out where the extended entity data is because under the tools menu, there is an option called entity data and over here you can click on the object and see the extended entity data. There is also an option to remove X data in BricsCAD, but this option does not exist in AutoCAD. So this tool is perhaps more useful for the AutoCAD user than for the BricsCAD user. It's available in both BricsCAD and AutoCAD, both in CAD Power as well as in GeoTools. I hope you find this video useful and do let me know if you have any questions.